I recently made another purchase on Wish. First aid kit. Um, geez, it made a bit of a claim. I'll show you the ad uh, over over on the other side, over screen here. It claimed all sorts of things, and I went, "Wow, 200 and something piece kit!" And I thought, "Oh, this should be fantastic." I should have had a bit of a look at the contents, the, the way they were described, because uh, what turned up. Well, I didn't expect it to be such poor quality. Um, what's turned up is. Uh, it is some sort of a plastic backed material um, with what looks like a well on the manifest looks like a huge amount of, uh, of gear but in fact not a lot of it you can use for immediate first aid so as you may have rem remembered from the first vid video on this series on the Trafalgar I'll put the link up uh, up here in the in this video and down in the description the principles of what we need to be able to do is keep the casualty breathing and stop them bleeding and it's so, okay we've got a couple of triangular bandages but these bandages to keep them on are of such poor quality these are the sort of bandage you, bandages you have in in in, in some sort of cosmetic surgery or something like that. They're very, very soft. They're very, um, they're, they're great for other things, but not for bush first aid. I wasn't, I didn't buy this as a bush first aid or an Australian bush first aid kit, but uh, I can't do much with it. I, I imagine this is a garbage bag of some sort or a disposable bag. I, I don't know, it hasn't, it's not labeled. This is a mask, um, could be handy for when you're dealing with um, with strangers, and the most bizarre thing in this kit is uh, is a kit that can break uh, laminated glass and also cut through through uh, seat belts, and that's in the kit. This advertising, as you'll see, showed all sorts of other gear, none of which turned up. We've got some fairly bad quality safety pins here. Um, have a, have a look at that. that, that's a pair of tweezers, they don't tweeze in anything. A thermometer, that's fascinating. I don't know how, how accurate it is. Um, in the other big compartment, and there's a pair of scissors here too, um, you've got all sorts of garbage. You've got so many um, iodine prep pads, it's almost like you're going into surgery. It's just and that's where they get the you know so many piece kit they just throw in stuff that is worth next to nothing with a couple of grams of this stuff um, you have antiseptic cleansing wipe 0.9% um, NACL but no other ingredients um, you, don't, you just don't know what's in these things you have very very little understanding here of, of what the, the fillers are um, else we've got um, cleansing wipes a different type again um, alcohol free again we don't know what's we've got, got a couple of ingredients but we don't know what the rest is um, great old emergency blanket I think it's a fairly standard thing in kits nowadays you've got an adhesive wound dressing yeah, wow um, you've got a couple of those you've got again making up the numbers of the kit um, a number of uh, band-aids um, in different shapes handy handy for around the home um, and I've got more of these stupid iodine wipes um, but let's see what else there is there's a sterile gauze sponge which look how small it is I, you just can't do anything with so look I, no disrespect this is, isn't this just isn't a, a, an outdoor or first aid an outdoor first aid kit You've got a cooling patch which um, cools refreshing safety, you know. Um, you've got a wooden tongue depressor. Like I'm not opening a, um, a general practice. You've got more of these, just brings the numbers up. Another depressor, another cooling patch. And then in this section here you've got um, gloves, you've got a, uh, a resuscitation shield. And you got a tourniquet. 
Look, I, I've I, I've used tourniquets in in two situations, and and both of them were in the in, either a, a lower um, really badly lacerated and badly cut, and the other one was a, a snake bite in Central Australia. That was it was it was bad. So we used tourniquet, and that was years ago. I haven't used one of those for probably 10, 15 years. So if you're buying a, a kit like this to to uh, look after yourself when you've gone camping, I would recommend against it. Um, I'm not getting paid by any particular supplier of um, first aid kits or equipment, but um, for your money, you're going to do a whole lot better with the known brands, um, St John's, Trafalgar, and any of the others. Um, if anyone else can think of uh, good kits that they think are worth looking at, please put them in the links. Uh, please put the link or the description um, down below the video and, uh, and share that information. Um, but there you go. This is another wish. Meh, not exactly a fail, because it'll do some things around the house, but there's, there's no... Uh, there's no quality to it, there's no value in it. But uh, yeah, so I'd, I'd say probably don't buy this product. Um, and thanks for watching. <laughs>